Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to delete programs that will not delete or uninstall on your Windows 10 computer. So this could be a frustrating issue you guys are coming across. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it, hopefully without too much of a hassle. So we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up a web browser here. The link should take you over to a website that says geekuninstaller.com. This should be a completely free application for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to left click on the green download button. Make sure it's on an advertisement as well. And I'm going to select the uninstaller free version. The only difference between basically the free and the pro from at least my opinion and what I've seen to be one of the biggest feature differences is the Geek Uninstaller Pro will let you uninstall multiple programs at the same time. But in reality, it's very quick to just do one at a time, and I don't really know how many programs you guys are going to want to uninstall. So we're going to just select the first one here and left click on the zip file compressed format. Download should be very quick as well. So once it's done downloading, I'm going to open up the compressed folder here, and I'm going to double click on the application inside. If you receive a user account control window, make sure it's a verify publisher in here, and then left click on yes. Now this will give you a list of all the programs that are installed in your computer. For whichever one you want to remove, just left click on the application itself, right click on it at that point, and then left click on forced removal. You're going to be prompted, are you sure you want to perform forced removal of this program? Left click on yes to confirm the selection. And then left click on finish as well. You should see all traces removed. You can close out of here. And then I would recommend restarting your computer just to make sure the change took effect. And that's about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.